Yeah, it really is. And uh, I mean, thank you guys for what you've done. But 40 years to Tri City Lacrosse, how? Give me a little breakdown of that. What is 40 years of Tri City Lacrosse mean? I, in 40 years, we've been, uh, there was a need when we started Tri City. Uh, Paul was a, I was just a little fella. And uh, little guy. You know, we uh, we started. It was my freshman year of, of college, I think. And uh, uh, and Gino DeCondo and I both had, had gone and played uh, in college. And, and everyone else on the team, you know, you're from you're from Whitesboro or Rome at the time. There was no such thing as New Harper or Holland Patton or Clinton or any of that, as far as lacrosse goes. Um, what ha- what would happen is you find out when you're at college, you know, struggling against all these players from Fayetteville and Jamesville and and around Decoit and all over the place. Uh, everyone goes home and they play all summer, and they're like, well, maybe we should do that. And so we got together and we formed a league. And um, Timmy Shane was there, and myself and Bobby Dix and. Uh, and Gino and Jack Angersano, who had coached us all. Um, and uh, we divvied it up. And and I tell you what, it, it, at one point in time, we, there, we were having a huge argument about what we were going to do with with the teams. Like a lot of people wanted to go Rome guys on one team and Whitesboro guys on the other. And, and I'm happy to say I won that argument. I said we should draft it NFL style because otherwise we're going to have just two rival teams who never liked each other and we're going to continue to not like each other and there will only be the two teams and then it'll be over in a couple of weeks and uh you know i think i i turned out to be right on that one because when you get to know the paul neckers and uh the darkangelos and all you know the darkangelos and colburns uh who are natural enemies when we're growing up in high school start to get the commonality that the sport gives you and uh and then we become, I mean, actually the whole wrestling world is saying, what are these Utica guys doing? So, I mean, uh, we're kind of all in it together anyways, and, and we became more all in it. And as New Harper came, it's like any stew. The more ingredients you add, the better the stew is, and, the, you know, the, the more uh, rich the experience is for the guys. And, I, and I, you know, you watch how close the guys on the Yeti are. Um, that just takes it another step, adding the Binghamton guys and, and, and you got the guys coming in from uh, Onondaga and stuff. It's, uh, you know, I mean, what a great sport. We're, we're, we're lucky to be involved, you know, all of us. Amen. Yeah. It's, Amen. Uh, kind of crazy how it all came together. Uh, I believe you remembered the MVP team I played for, the long sticks playing offense. Blew your mind. <laughs> I didn't notice that at the time because I obviously would have said, that's illegal. But uh, you had a mastermind. No. I don't remember who I was. Uh, it's kind of like a bad scientist. He, he he had a play called after a bird call or something. I it was a very creative time for <laughs> Mohawk Valley there. A lot of great things came out of Mohawk Valley. There. Hawks don't fly. Remember, hawks hawks don't fly. They soar. Hawks don't right. fly. They soar. Right. You know. So uh, yeah, that was a great time, and uh, you know that that was great. You guys were great. Uh, a lot of fun. It was. I had never actually won a lacrosse game until I went. My uh, high school guy who knew a little bit about lacrosse, just a super awesome guy who coached, so we would have right. game. Then I got out to Utica, the, near the heart of lacrosse, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Anything. Very uh, humbling. Hey, Beecher. Hey, Beecher. Hey, Beecher. Guess what? Bobby was at your uh, very first game uh, that you won. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. He was a spectator at the MVC right. uh, against uh, uh, North, uh, not North Country, uh, Jefferson. Jeff- yeah, he, he was at that uh, as a spectator. How about that? Yeah, huh? drove up. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Only because the fair ground in has great sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> uh, out of that team, though, that's you have awesome. Dave Sikosi, who has now been playing oh. for you for twenty years. What a great, what a great years. guy. Great mentor. Yeah, awesome guy. He, he's uh, he, he's a traveler. He comes in uh, just uh, what north of Albany, like yourself, and uh, he's he's here, practice in, practice out, game in, game out. You know, as far as he's been a part of Tri City since he came down from Lowellville. He played in the USCLA with us in uh, the Tri City USCLA team when he uh, was uh, not. Uh, uh, readily uh, available for the MVCC team, so it, it, it was, you know, to say, uh, uh, pretty cool to uh, still have a kid that uh, I coached back in in 20 plus years ago, still playing on my team is that's pretty cool, pretty darn cool. You know what? That's it's one of the things we're trying to do with Tri City is make it womb to tomb. 
so that, you know, if you're going to be in this community, you're going to be able to jump in as a wee little kid and, and go all the way through to, you know, we do have the mall walkers team right now, which is a, a very elite group of old, of more elder statesmen uh, playing at a frenetic pace uh, out in the box over at West Road. It is, it is a, it's a, a pace that, you know, I don't know what, some might be able to hang with us. <laughs> some. Um, it's, it's really a tragedy that we lost that footage we had of it because one of your mall walkers didn't know how to press stop stream, but. Yeah, you know, oh, we had yeah. some real well, highlight well, footage. I mean, I at least I finally I was getting revenge for Jobson. Every time you touched the ball, I was like, "Oh, look at the speed! <laughs> look at the speed!" Jobson runs circles yeah, that, around me. To be honest, <laughs> Jobson is way it, it, faster far, than anybody gives him credit for. He's a lot of fun right. to watch. He's, he's got great hands. He's, he's got special. Great hands, great hands. He's got an eye for the net. He can yeah. put the ball in the back. We Amen. watched him grow up too, you know. So I mean, uh, that's got to be awesome. You know? for you he guys. was, uh, yeah, it is. It's great to see the, uh, the, not to say the evolution, but to watch the evolution in film. You know, it's evolution of lacrosse in front of our eyes compared to what it was. Right. Watching the Farrell boys, watching, uh, you know, all the kids, the 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 Dick sisters and. Uh, and and uh, Gino's daughter and I mean everyone's kids. It's it's uh, it makes us old, but it also is rewarding to uh, <laughs> to sit back and enjoy it. You know. Well, I mean to put this into perspective for you guys, because of Paul was my coach and got me super stoked for lacrosse. This kid that was in my Cub Scout troop, meaning he was under 12 years old, I got to see him grow up. Got to play for Collar City Kings strictly because of what you guys are doing. This continuing to push forward, uh, just creating a community. And it gave this kid, our young man, a chance to play before he went to college, which is something that wouldn't happen. So, I mean, you guys don't really realize how far your outreach has, has gone. Yeah, I, I, you know, it, it's humbling when you think about it. And you know what, though? I mean, it's not a thing we're doing for fiscal gain or anything. We're doing it <laughs> no. because, because you know what? Everyone should, it's no one's fault. Like right now, let's say it's no one's fault in uh Herkimer High School or, or Frankfurt or uh, Sequoia or, or Riskney that they don't have the game. It's You feel bad about it. You feel bad that there's none in Dowdsville, that there's none in Camden. Camden's had turf longer than a lot of our players have been alive, and, and they, it just sits idle. And uh, Norwich down at the south, who has a box outside. I mean, um, we wish we could service the whole area more properly. But, you know, I mean, there's only so many of us who are blessed enough to, to have enough time to squeak out to do this and there's only so many of us who can who can deliver that and uh, and you know what i mean you're doing a service too beach i mean this sort of thing that we're doing here this is this is uh stuff that coach decker and i i mean while we destroyed that tape of the mall walkers very purposefully there's no question i definitely probably <laughs> ran over your phone but uh <laughs> you know I mean, it's great. We're we're reaching an audience. It's unbelievable to me when we do these broadcasts, and all of a sudden there's like 167 views. You're like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and then the the comments being, you know, the, the, the that's what I love about it is people are watching, but you want to know what they can inter interact with it, and that's what we want. That's what makes it all the more is, right. you know, you, you the. the, the the, the, the people reaching out and saying stuff, they're giving us commentary to, to continue the uh, entertainment because that's what it is. We're putting smiles on people's faces, and that's, I think, what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Dinky Thomas is like the uh, etiquette police for that whole deal. I, I've never met them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, guy. Do you guys know who they are? are we, no idea. No, no clue. I love those guys. They are awesome. The comment section they're of the awesome. games is gold between the broadcast and the comments <laughs> you guys have it dialed in i can't wait they, and i gotta tell you dinky thomas has been with us since the golden bears game he's very dedicated. <laughs> he's, the... <laughs> he's a fan he's a fan he wants to hear it you know hockey had cherry lacrosse has got leary <laughs> Oh, wait, till we, wait till we put a suit and tie on the man, and he takes the tie off, and then he takes the jacket off. The L train is rolling. The L train is rolling. He can say. <laughs> I mean, one of the best parts is, like, my wife loves going to the game just to listen to you two. She, yeah, she no, dies the whole way home. That's what we spend talking. It's about a the 
That's okay. Okay. You have picture coverage there too, by the way. Hey, listen, I, I, I got. I, I gotta. I got. I gotta interrupt. I gotta interrupt. Let me interrupt for a second. I, you know, not for nothing. What, what's that, that? That comment right there. My wife. I, it, it, she's sitting right next to me and everything. As far as the amount of comments that she's heard of me and Bob Leary over the course of the years, I, oh. you know, it, it's it's amazing that uh, she sits there and still. She puts she puts a smile on her face and she shakes her head and she walks out of the room just because she knows it's going to be a while. But you know that that's the one thing that I know Bob uh, and myself both. I know myself and I know Bob. Well, what our wives? Uh, amen to them. Amen. Yes, we all owe them a thank you because we spend way too much time watching grown men play lacrosse. I mean, hints down. When you try to explain it to anybody else, you're like, "What's the matter with you?" Yeah. We are Peter Pan. I, 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 I got the I got the luxury I got the luxury of uh, sitting next to her next month uh, next month twenty five years next month and amen thank you Lord for letting her ride with me woo love it actually me and my wife hit our thirteen year anniversary it's awesome you know and once again you want to know who my biggest fan is where is she there she is hey there you go that that's what it's all about. You know, the, the, the family, the friends, you know, spreading the love of the game. That's awesome. All right, is there anything you guys wanted to talk about? I mean, I know Herkimer. I think we covered it a little bit. We, we did touch on it once or twice. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> we should probably end it here. 